Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's an open the box and it's an unboxing of a game from a new company. It is The Shores of Tripoli, a strategy game by Kevin Bertram from Fort Circle Games, US Navy and Marine Corps versus the Pirates of Tripoli. Now there have been a few unboxings of this already. But, being in the UK, I've only just received this copy, for which I must thank Kevin and everyone at Fault Circle Games for sending me for review. This does mean, of course, for us in the UK and Europe, that we will be able to get our hands on this game very soon. So, what's all this about? From the end of the American Revolution, Commercial vessels of the young United States Republic were easy prey for pirates of the Barbary Coast. In 1801, newly inaugurated President Thomas Jefferson was eager to put an end to this threat and sent a squadron of observation to the Mediterranean. As the squadron arrived in Gibraltar, they learned that the Bashur of Tripoli had already declared war. The Shores of Tripoli plays out this exciting episode of early American military history. As the United States, one player will pressure Tripolitania to allow the free movement of American merchant vessels or face the consequences. As the Bashur of Tripoli, the other player will continue the lucrative piracy of the fearsome Corsairs while countering the American threat on land and sea. Beautiful and informative cards represent historical events and leaders from the first Barbary War. Players can move ships, start battles, go on pirate raids, engage in diplomacy and receive reinforcements. And if you're interested, it says here, for an overview of the rules, visit www.theshoresoftripoli.com. Includes over 80 wooden playing pieces, 24 dice and a premium mounted map. And here's some of the, the cards and the map. Players 1 to 2. I understand the game can be played solitaire. Time 45 to 60 minutes. Ages 14 plus. Right, let's get the shrink wrap off. The shrink wrap is off. And we have a very sturdy box. Two inches. Lovely picture on the box there. And the box has a sort of linen finish to it. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's have a look. Let's open the box. First thing we see are the rules. So we'll get those out. These are 12 pages, but uh, let's see if we can zoom in a bit. There we go. Full colour, of course. Components. So we get a historical supplement and designer notes booklet. There's the map. Thomas Jefferson's letter to the uh, Bashaw there. A couple of decks of cards, turn markers, gold coins and wooden ships, cubes and 24 six-sided dice. Crikey. Nice large font. So the game map, game pieces. Victory conditions, how to set up. Looks pretty okay. Sequence of play. So, we have seasonal rounds by the look of it. Americans play. Then we've got the Tripolitan play. End of season. There we are. Movement and combat. Naval combat, naval bombardment, ground combat. Assault on Tripoli and pirate raids. Basic strategy, optional rule and tournament play, and here they are for those 
that like to play solitaire, there's some rules. And the solitaire card play requirements. Those are rules. Next we've got the historical supplement and designer notes. The first Barbary War. So we always like to get a bit of history. This is, for me anyway, a quite unknown war. Going through the years of the war. William Eaton and the shores of Tripoli. And the designer notes with some suggested bibliography there. Credits. And quite a few playtesters. There we go, lovely. Next, here's a copy or a reproduction or whatever you want to call it of the letter sent by President Jefferson to the Pashir and Bay of Tripoli. And this again is on this sort of linen finish, very posh. So I'll leave that there. You can pause it and have a read. I hope you can see that. There we go. Next, we've got the cards, which we'll have a look at in a moment. The dice. And a bag containing all the wooden pieces. So, let's have a look at those. So, here are the cards. One deck for the Americans and one deck for the person playing Tripoli. So for the American card, there we go. There's the man himself, Thomas Jefferson. And again, these are nice stock and they've got this sort of, I don't know if you can see it there, sort of linen finish again. I must say the quality of the uh, components in this is uh, very, very good indeed. There we are. Give you a quick look through those. Naval movement, a few of them. Ah, early deployment. Constantinople demands tribute. Does it indeed? Going through quickly. Burn the Philadelphia. Launch the Intrepid. Great little pictures on them. There we are. Send in the Marines, as always. And for the Tripoli player, Ooh. a few of those, or a couple of those, a couple of those. Troops going everywhere. Storms. Ah, oh, Tripoli attacks. Tripoli acquires Corsairs. Oh, lots of them declaring war. Guns of Tripoli. So, loads of cards, 
Lovely. Whoops. And here's a sample of some of the dice. Nice quality. Smallish. There we are. Here we got the gold coins. A couple of markers. Some wooden cubes. And then the ships. We have some smaller ships. And here's what they look like. Close up. And then a bag of bigger ships. Here's a close-up of those. Very nice. So there we are. And the last thing is the map. So let's have a look at that. Here's the map mounted. We'll have a close up look in a minute, but it's a matte finish. This will give you some idea of the size. So let's take my life in my hands and we'll have a close up. <laughs> So apologies if it's a bit shaky. So down this end of the board, we've got the yearly turn track and the ports. Not sure what all this means yet until we do a playthrough. We've got the seasons here, Algeria with the town of Gears, Tunis and Tunisia. Tripoli, Malta, Benghazi, Dern and Alexandria, and up here, supply boxes for the United States and Tripoli. Nice handsome looking map. There we go, great components. You won't be disappointed with their quality. So this has been an open the box, an unboxing of The Shores of Tripoli, a strategy game by Kevin Bertram, US Navy and Marine Corps versus the Pirates of Tripoli. Published by Fort Circle Games. And once again, I must thank Kevin and Fort Circle Games for sending me this copy to have a look at. I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays Solitaire, so keep a lookout for a playthrough in the near future. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and it was helpful. If it was and you haven't done so already, I say it every time, it would be great if you would consider subscribing to the channel because it really does help. Push the like button of the video and the bell if you want to be informed of other uploads. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I love to read them. Thanks as always to my subscribers. Thank you very much. So until next time, as always, you take care and goodbye.